Hi everybody, I've been away for a while. This is day 25 of the Great Awakening. So there were 10 days when I was not here. Uh, I had a death of someone very near and dear to me. So I've been in the process of grieving. And you remember those last two things that I did, uh, day 14 and day 15, were about grieving our losses. And uh, I intuitively felt one coming. And so I've been in that in that process and standing on the earth and just, you know, letting the waves of grief come, weeping, crash. Luckily, I have all kinds of support. And so I'm able to come back. And so what's happened in the last 10 days? So this is day 25. Day one was April 5th which was the day after 444. Okay, so that's when we started. And I'll probably continue for uh, 40 days. 40 days is its own magic number. It's the number of days it takes to truly get a new habit in place in the body. Um, it's symbolic. Uh, when the Jews were rescued from the Egyptians, they were in the desert for 40 years. Uh, they weren't really... I mean, it wasn't that far, <laughs> but 40 years is two generations. It's the amount of time it takes to get slavery out of an entire population, the slave mentality. Uh, 40 days is when Christ was in the desert. It's a symbolic number. So I'm going with 40 days and I might continue after that, not sure. But I, I'm wondering what you've noticed recently, one of the things that I've noticed is that if I post anything that's not the mainstream narrative, I have people getting uh, very afraid. Uh, I, Hay House got three emails with people thinking that my social media had been hacked. I mean, you know, so where was I? Why was I not following along? Well, I, I just want to tell you that for my entire career, the whole shebang, I have not gone along, but I've had to do what it took to not lose my license, to stay within the system and so on. So it was always a, a tightrope. But years ago, I knew that mammograms were over-diagnosing things that you would die with but not die from. After doing hundreds of infant male circumcisions, I realized that this was um, child abuse. I won't go into that. And if you circumcise your child, I'm so sorry. I don't want to make you feel bad. And I did hundreds of them. So I, you know, I have my own guilt about that. But, you know, when you know better, you do better. Um, I knew that babies should not be rushed away from their mothers and put in an isolate when I was a medical student. They need to be put right on the mother's abdomen. So all that to say... If you've followed me for a while, what I'm telling you now is not anything. It, my viewpoint has not changed. I have not been kidnapped by a bunch of right-wing conspiracy theorists, all right? I'm just telling you what I see as the truth. Things are not what they seem. And I know how hard it is for some of you to awaken. I also know how hard it is if you have started to question the mainstream narrative, what happens in your own families? I had a friend um, tell me recently, he said, I didn't mind being an outlier, but it's really hard to be an outcast. So if you're feeling as though you're an outcast for simply questioning the mainstream narrative, um, please know that there are millions of us Millions of us waking up. But let me tell you how difficult it is to wake up if you're deeply asleep. Have you ever been deeply, deeply, deeply asleep? And the fire alarm goes off or the smoke alarm goes off or the phone rings and you're... <gasps> it's very hard. No one wants to wake up like that. Now, some of you have awakened gradually, gradually, gradually. You have questioned the mainstream narrative about 9-11. You've questioned the mainstream narrative about the assassination of John F. Kennedy and let me remind you that the word, the term conspiracy theory was invented by the CIA. 
in order to keep people from questioning the Warren report, like what really happened with JFK. Um, I recently saw a news clip that um, a doctor's office was raided in Detroit by the FBI. Why? He was using IV vitamin C. Now, one of my friends uh, had his office raided years ago for using IV vitamin C and bioidentical hormones. So you see, this stuff isn't new to me. I've had holistic doctor friends who were suddenly died of suicide or a heart attack when they were perfectly healthy the day before. So please understand that if you have been awake a while, then what's happening now probably does not surprise you. I'm currently a big fan of the governor of South Dakota, who seems to be approaching this in a wonderful way. She happens to be a Republican. I don't care. I'm an independent. I vote because I think we should. Uh, here in our state, where I don't think we've had any more deaths, it's another rural state. Our governor just locked us down for another month and she doesn't think we should go to the beach. So all the state parks on beaches are still closed. There is no good reason for this because sunlight and fresh air kills viruses. So those are the things that I question. And, and I'm so sorry if you're feeling like an outcast, please understand that you are not. I post things that question the mainstream narrative. And I became really radicalized when I went up to our state house and testified on behalf of medical freedom and bodily autonomy. And I was shocked by what I saw. I was shocked by the three overflow rooms of parents with vaccine injured children who told their story. All of these people were vaccinating their children according to the schedule and then the children would develop seizures or disabilities or even die. And the committee sat there as though this hadn't happened. This is not okay with me because it reminds me of what happened to me in the 1980s when I would listen to women's stories of rape, sexual abuse, whatever. And I would see how correlated it was with their PMS, with their ovarian cysts, with their chronic pelvic pain. And my colleagues said, they only saw normal patients. I was seeing all the nut cases, you see? So it took the Harvey Weinstein thing for the mainstream to wake up. It took that, it took the movie Spotlight, well, it took the reporters who made the movie Spotlight to wake up to the sexual abuse of so many children by the priesthood. We're going through another massive wake up here. I'm here with you. You're here with me. And you know what? If you don't like this stuff, it's okay. You don't need to announce that you're going to unfollow me or you don't need to announce how disappointed you are in me. You don't need to announce how ashamed you are of me. I know the tactics already. All right. Bless you all.